New Ark Encounter Park officially opened its doors in Grant County this morning. It features a replica of Noah's Ark. And as expected, the park attracted big crowds on the first day, but it also drew some protesters. As Victor Puente tells us, they aren't happy about the tax incentives the park is receiving from the state. Millions of feet of lumber were used to finish the attraction behind me. It's the first of several attractions the company responsible has planned. That company, Answers in Genesis, says the ark is built using the same dimensions as Noah's boat that was described in the Bible. I think this is pretty amazing. The crowds that came today said this was a chance to interact with something they had only imagined. It will almost take us in the mind back to the time when all this occurred. The ark encounter is easy to find. Just follow the protesters. They say the $18 million in tax incentives given to the project means they can't require their employees to identify as Christian. It's absolutely a separation of church and state. If you're a nonprofit, you have the, light, you have the right to discriminate it, whether anybody likes it or not. But you can't receive state funding. If you're a for-profit company, you can receive state tax incentives, but you can't discriminate. They are doing both, and that is a huge problem. A federal judge ruled earlier this year that the park could receive those incentives. No government money was used, but because this is a tourist attraction, there is a program uh, available as there is for the Speedway, for other uh, tourist facilities in the area uh, to uh, provide uh, a rebates on sales generated in the facility after the first year. The group plans to continue building on the 800-acre property, aiming to have a pre-flood walled city and the Tower of Babel constructed eventually. And I knew about it. I'd seen pictures. I'd read descriptions, but just the sheer size is just awe-inspiring. A consulting firm hired by Answers in Genesis estimated up to 2 million people would visit the park in its first year. In Grant County, Victor Puente, WKYT. During the first 40 days, the Ark Encounter will be open extended hours from 9 a.m. until midnight.